Joe Dawley, that's a decent size. I'm just lifting against nothing. So I push this button in and you can put on a bit more. G'day guys, welcome back to another mission. Up super early this morning, so up at quarter to three, I had Doily at my house at three o'clock. I uh, put the boat in about four o'clock, and uh, we've headed out the front and had a trawl for some mackerel. Thought we'd try for some early season mackies. Pretty rough though, uh, we called it quits on that. New moon in a couple of days. It's a four meter high tide right now, so we're gonna chuck some lures around these headlands. No point heading up a creek, too much run. And that'll be our morning. So we'll have a fish around this area here for, I don't know, maybe three or four hours. And we did happen to throw eight crab pots in on the way in the dark. So we just saw a free swimming mud crab. Chances of a mud crab are pretty good. Uh, we'll see how we go casting these headlands with some soft plastics and maybe some hard bodies. Send it to Lily. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Oh. Oh, he's just took me into the tree. Oh, come on, come out. Shit. I think that was a jack. I can't feel him anymore. There he is, he's out. Oh. It's a baz. Grab the net, can you please, mate? Yes! On the board. Nice. All right. Little baz. Look at that. Nice, right, Devon. Yes, like first cast. Put on the brake, First mate. cast. We'll see how big he is. He's about 56. Not quite big enough. Let him go. Top of the tide. Well, that was exciting. So the lure I'm running is a Kitec Fatmax 4.5 weedless. Put a bit of a rip in the side. Anyway, I'll see if this fishes for a little bit longer and I might have to change it out. Oh, I just had a touch. Don't have an electric motor, so we're just drifting along. Got a motor out away from the trees every now and then. Look at that alleyway there.
Okay, doily's on. I'm going to back out a bit. All right, nice and gentle doily. Looks like another barra. Fishing a Z Rec prawn. Oh, decent. Oh, what? Man. Are you kidding me? I got one in the boat. So this tide's smashing out now and we're just drifting along with the tide. Every now and then moving in a bit closer or moving out. Be interesting to see if we got what I saw on uh, camera. Mm. All right, we've had a trawl for mackerel. We've uh, had a fish for Barra. I landed one about 52, I think it was. Anyway, it's 11 o'clock in the morning, tide's dropping out. Eight pots we set in the dark. We'll see you there. Let's get some crabs. Well, that was a bit crazy. We proper nearly got stuck just in there. Uh, we'll have to come back on another tide and get these pots either tonight or tomorrow morning. Got a couple of crabs here. Not sure if this one will be a keeper. There you go, Doily. Does he touch? No, not a keeper. Nice crab though. Crab. Not a keeper. Under. No. Under. What's that other crab check in there? All right, we've ditched Doily. Well, we haven't ditched him. He couldn't make it the Savi. Missed the tide to pick up our pots this morning. So we went home for a while. It's now 5.30 in the evening. We should be able to just get to our pots. Here's one over here. Right, oh, we're in 500 mil of water. Geez, lucky we didn't run that over. It's nice in this bay. Feeling lucky, Ashley? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Oh, there's a big Jenny, a couple of big Jennies there. Set these in the dark, didn't realise it was straight off the beach. Very muddy. More jennies. A lot of crabs, don't think there's any keepers, but what's he like? He's a nice crab. Oh, he's a keeper. There's one big Jenny there, other little ones. Right, you can let those go, kiddo. Nice full crab. Oh, I can see some crabs there, Ashley. Might be a couple of keepers there, I reckon, even. Okay, watch yourself, kiddo. Here's a keeper, I reckon. Yep. Whoa. He wanted me. He wanted me bad. Yep, he's a keeper. I reckon that one might be two, Ashley. Nice beige hard crab. All right, that's two crabs. He might be a bit small, that one. Yeah. He's under by a couple of milk. Big one there, I reckon. Well, what's this one? Yep, he touches. 
Nice and beige, not a massive crab, but full. All right, that's three crabs. That's a, that's a buck. Does he make it? Put your hand out this way so I can see. Whoa. Does he touch both sides? No, he's too small. One more that may, or maybe two more that might be keepers. What's this fella doing? Got a trap flipper. Let's check this one. Yep, touches, both spikes. That's four. It's, it's his flipper. Yeah, because his flipper's caught. Oh, another good quality beige crab. Another keeper. I've got to cut more string. That's five, my goodness. All right, four more pots, Ashley, the other side of this headland. Oh, Ashley, we've got to be quick, getting dark. Look at that, that's a beauty, that crab. Oh my God, Ashley. Oh my God, watch out. Oh. Tie like a madman. Try and find the biggest ones first. Like this one here. Look at that. Wow, that's six. That's a really good crab. He's got little nippers, too small. Got a really big goer. Geez, they're feisty, aren't they? Easy keeper. Seven. Whoa, that's a good crab too. Yep, keeper, that's eight. Oh my God, Ashley, they're beauties. Well, that's two out of this pot so far. Very heavy. My God, that's nine. Whoa. 
11. Hey. Wow, 12, 12, shit. This is a keeper. 13. That was six crabs out of here. My god, Ashley, there's a couple of monsters in there. I think we'll be upgrading our crabs. Oh, that's the bait pocket. Any exceptionally big ones in here? It's this fella, is he exceptionally big? Tip these ones out. Yep, tip them out. He's a good crab. That's 14. And we'll upgrade. That's a big crab. So is that one. Wow, what a sunset. Look at that. Anyway, we've got two pots to go. It's getting too dark to film now. We're going to rip these in. We've bagged out, got 14 crabs. Probably let all these go. I'll show you what we got when we get back inside. Well, we made it back to the boat ramp in one piece. Look at that. 14 quality crabs. Bagged out once again. Not massive crabs. A few of them are a centimetre over, but all very good quality.